How does blood flow through the heart? Most schools and legacy science teach that the heart is a small fist size pump. But if you examine few key facts and scientific details, heart in no way can be a pump. Relax, sit back and let's see why heart is not a pump. First, let's take a quick look at the heart structure. The right ventricle passes the oxygen-poor blood to the lungs through the pulmonary valve. The left atrium receives oxygen-rich blood from the lungs. Then it moves to the left ventricle through the mitral valve. The left ventricle passes the oxygen-rich blood through the aortic valve out to the rest of the body. The right atrium receives oxygen-poor blood from the body. Then it moves to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Let's see again. If lined up, human blood vessels could wrap around the earth about three times. The total length is over 60,000 plus miles. To pump highly viscous blood through such a distance, it needs unimaginable power. Blood velocity is highest and same when it enters the heart and when it exits the heart. And it almost stops at the midpoint of circulatory system, at veins to exchange nutrients and waste with the body cells. So, how come blood picks up increasing speed when it returns from the midpoint at the veins? Something happens at cell levels which pushes the blood up back to heart. Then how does blood really flows? Blood is a negatively charged solution. Heart has its own electric system, a natural pacemaker. Resting body cells are negatively charged on the inside. Heart creates vortices and the vortex moves through the blood vessels. Hence, blood flows in the form of vortex inside the blood vessels. Repulsion of same electric charges and attraction of opposite charges aids in slowing down of blood at the midpoint that is body cells and then re-pick up of speed when it returned to heart. Now, do you see heart is not a pump? Don't forget to like and subscribe.